I'm going to be showing you how to do all the puzzles as well as the location of the data card in Takodana's Maz's Castle in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga's Galaxy Freeplay. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to start off here with the first puzzle which is going to be called Woodland Wire just to the south of the landing zone. You're going to notice it up here on this zip line. Now how do you get to that zip line? Well, you have to go back around here into the woods and climb up the steps and then go down the zip line and get the kyber brick for woodland wire and then next up we're going to go straight to the data card here in the back left corner of the map and this is going to be kind of behind your ship and you'll notice it a glowing thing in the water and you also notice a grapple hook point here so we're going to switch to a grapple hook character grapple up and then stand on the switch on top of this uh, pillar thing and once you do that that'll raise this chest out of the water then you can grab your data card for Taco Donna. So there we go. All right, moving on, we're going to do Convoy. Convoy. So we're going to moving over to the south, and we're going to make our way back up towards the north and then the castle and all that kind of stuff. So for Convoy, Convoy, we're going to walk up these steps. Then we're going to switch to an acrobatic character like a scavenger or Jedi and go across these poles and get the kyber brick for Convoy. Convoy. So just to the left of there, we're going to do a scenic stream. You're going to notice. Uh, kind of a waterfall. If you go along the left here, you can easily jump over and get the cover brick for Scenic Stream. Alright, next up we're going to do Jungle Jumping, moving just to the right of there on the bottom side of the map. And this one's very easy. All you have to do is play as a character that can double jump, like a Jedi or Sith. Jump up and get the cover brick on top of this pillar right here for Jungle Jumping. And continuing over here to the right, we're going to do Drenched Delight. And so for this one, we're going to have to switch to a grapple hook character, grapple up over here to this waterfall, pull down this switch that'll open up uh, one of these crates, and then you can just grab the kyber brick in the waterfall for drenched delight. All right, moving up, we're going to move just to the north of there. We're going to do crusty column. And uh, so it's going to be on top of this column, and all you have to do is switch to a grapple hook character, like an astromech droid or, you know, hero or bounty hunter, and grapple right up on top of the pillar to get the kyber brick. A lot of... A lot of cover bricks on top of pillars in this one, huh? Uh, so moving on, we're going to get this vehicle token for troopers on the trail. Another puzzle. So there's going to be one of these Imperial ships. If you can tell me the name of this Imperial ship, I'll give your comment a heart. Uh, but So we're going to use a villain to hack the villain panel on the side of uh, this ship. And then we're going to go inside and get the vehicle token for troopers on the trail. And just to the north of there, we're going to do backwoods blasting. And so we're going to switch to a blaster character, but uh, one of the targets you have to shoot is actually going to be behind this rock, so we're just going to shoot that to reveal the target. And then we're going to shoot the other three targets within the time frame, which you can see right there. If you need help, you can always slow down the footage. And that'll open up the crate, giving you the capper break for Backwoods Blasting. Alright, next up, continuing the move towards the north, we're going to do Smashing the Supplies now. This one I started by accident, so this is going to be kind of in front of the castle here. There's going to be one of these red crates, and we're going to destroy it, and that's going to be one out of five. So there's going to be four more. Uh, they're all kind of around the castle. None of, the, none of them are in the forest area. So we're going to move up here just to the north and get that red crate, and then we're going to kind of move on the opposite side of the castle and get a couple more crates. And then here's another one. There we go. Destroy that. So that one's probably the closest one towards your landing zone. Then we're going to move over here to the left side of the castle and get this other crate here. And then the last one's going to be kind of in the back. So we're going to kind of loop all the way around. I'll show you the location here on the map so you know exactly what I'm talking about. And once you get back here, you're going to notice a grapple hook point uh, from this like TIE fighter wing. So we're going to pull that down and then we're going to uh, jump over and reach the last red crate and get the cover brick for smashing the supplies. All right, moving right along, we're going to do a rocky reward moving back to the front side of the castle in the south. And so we're just going to climb up this wall. You're going to notice there's three switches, two up there, and then there's going to be one on the ground. So we're going to have to hold down one switch with one of these blocks, or you can use a protocol droid, split them in half, or something like that. But uh, I'm just doing it like that. So I'm going to have a, a block holding down one switch, then my other two characters holding down the other two switches, and that will open up the door, giving you the cover brick for Rocky Reward. All right, moving just to the left and sort of south of there, we're going to do First Ordnance Survey. So we're going to climb the side of this wall, and uh, essentially all we have to do is reach the uh, top of this cliff, and to do that, we need to switch to a Force-using character, like a Sith or Jedi, I'm using Darth Vader, and we're going to stack, uh, what's it take, like five or six of these orange blocks, then you can climb up the side of the cliff and get the kyber brick for First Ordnance Survey. 
All right, next up, we're going to go over here just to the left of the castle to the north of the landing zone, Energizing Island. So this one's going to require us to plug in two batteries. The first battery is going to be on the islands as you approach the crate with the kyber brick. And the next battery is going to be over here uh, in front of the castle. We're going to put that into place. And from there, you can pretty much uh, go over and get your kyber brick. So pretty simple. Just follow the cables coming out of the crate, and you should be able to figure out what you need to do from there. Moving right along, we're going to do a rooftop drop here just to uh, the right of the one we just did on top of the castle. So to get this one, we need to climb the castle. And to do that, we're going to come over here, climb up these orange handlebars. Then we're going to have to switch to an acrobatic character like a Jedi or Scavenger to climb up here. And once again, do it here on these flagpoles and climb all the way to the top. And then you can just drop right down to the kyber brick for rooftop drop. All right, so next up, we're going to do flying the flags just to the right of the one we just did. And so this one can be a little bit tricky at first, but it's actually pretty simple. So it's going to be four switches, and all you have to do is match the flag pattern to the flag pattern that's on the right, just above that guy standing there. And so if you hit the switches exactly as I do here, you'll be able to solve it. But, uh, you know, once you see the pattern on the right, it should be pretty simple. So we're going to hit all those switches. That's going to open up the door, giving you the cover brick for flying the flags. All right, next we're going to do Pirate Queen's Plunder to the right of that one. And uh, so this is one of these silver uh, Lego objects. So switch to a villain character, throw your grenade on it, blow it up, and get the cover brick for Pirate Queen's Plunder. Surprised they didn't use the word silver with that one like they usually do. <laughs> but moving right along, we're going to do On a Wing and a Prayer to the very right of the map. It's actually going to be in the water here. And so we're going to have to switch to a force using character to move these blocks into place that way we can put them in strategic locations so we can jump across and reach the kyber brick or on a wing and a prayer so next we're going to do a debris digging here uh, getting into the castle so we're going to notice the kyber brick right here we're just going to destroy it and get the kyber brick for debris digging so very very easy there one of the easiest ones in all of Mazda's castle so now we're going to be moving up here towards uh, the top of the castle so the rest of these or at least a lot of these are going to be on top of the roof now and so we're gonna have to once again climb up here with an acrobatic character like a Jedi or uh, a scavenger and we're gonna climb up this ladder and we're eventually gonna reach this uh, scavenger glider uh, drop off here so we're just gonna switch to your scavenger abilities and glide across to get the cover brick for swoop around the statue all right next up we're gonna do Tabin's treasure here on the right side of the map and once again, we're on the rooftop of the castle. We're going to move over here, drop down here. There's multiple ways to get here, but this is just how I did it. And once you get down here, you're going to notice a switch in the corner there. And that's actually going to reveal a target on the other side. So have one character stand on the switch, have the other character shoot the target. Then you can click, get the cap brick for Tabin's treasure. Who's Tabin? I have no idea. <laughs> so just to the left of there, we're going to do tallest tower. And so you're going to notice the tower just uh, kind of above the cap brick we just did, actually. And so we're just going to climb all the way to the top with an acrobatic character like a scavenger, uh, Jedi, or Sith, and reach the top. And look at that view. And then we got the kyber brick for tallest tower. So we're just going to jump down from there, move over to the left to get Shag Kava Cash. And uh, so this one, all you have to do is switch to a grapple character like an astromech or, uh, you know, hero character, anybody like that. And grapple up and get the kyber brick for Shag Kava Cash. And once again, just to the left of there, we're going to get Thai Treasures. Now this one, we're going to actually jump off the roof, and we're going to go back behind the castle again, sort of where we got one of those uh, red crates, if you have been watching along up to this point. So there's going to be a grapple hook point on the side. We're going to pull that down, and then we can grapple up and get into the back end of the castle here with a, you know, astromech or hero character, something like that. And from there, you can easily get the Kyber Rick for Thai Treasures. All right, next up we're going to do Shattered Spire here. And once again, we're going to move moving up here to the rooftop. So once again, and I'm going to show you how to get up to the roof. Switch to a acrobatic character uh, as a scavenger or hero. But I recommend playing as a scavenger because right here you're going to have to use their net launcher ability to climb up the side of this wall. Once you reach the top, switch to a bounty hunter character to destroy the gold level object and get the kyber brick for Shattered Spire. All right, I think just one more here on the outside. It's going to be called Welcome to Taco Donna. I guess this is supposed to be one of the first ones we were supposed to do, but uh, whoops, oh well, we're doing it kind of uh, last almost. <laughs> um, so over here to the left side of the castle on the outside, we're just going to switch to a scavenger character, use their breaker blaster ability 
to uh, cut a hole through the wall. And then you can get the copper brick for Welcome to Tacodonna. And from here, we're going to go inside the castle and get the last few kyber bricks. So this one's called Basement Bounty. So we're going to head inside the castle here, and we're going to move down to the south uh, to get under into the basement. And we're going to switch to a Jedi or Sith character to mind control this character, Jedi Mind Control. And we're just going to um, move one of these blocks out of the way, and that's going to reveal... A uh, little uh, jump off point where we can reach this other room pull the switch that's gonna allow your character to go inside this room then switch to a protocol droid to go inside the protocol droid hatch and then move this uh, block out of the way to reveal an astromech panel this is in the original room where you're mind controlling the guy hack the astromech panel with well an astromech droid that's gonna reveal uh, a kyber brick behind the painting of Maz and that is basement bounty so from there we're gonna do Rathtar smokehouse and this is, once again, inside uh, the castle in the main room, the first one that you walk into, the middle floor. And so there's going to be this fire in the middle, and we're going to have to destroy a nearby Lego object. And we're just going to do that, and we're just going to step on it enough until it gets destroyed. And from there, we're going to build this uh, kind of turnstile. We're going to turn it around until it has the grapple hook point facing outward. We'll switch to a grapple hook character to get the kyber brick for Rathtar Smokehouse. Now, last but not least, we're going to do Maz's Melodies. So this is kind of in the back corner of the same room, the middle floor, the main room of the castle. So we're just going to start destroying everything around these uh, uh, posters along the wall. And we're going to build a jukebox as well as an astromech droid panel. And we're going to hack the astromech droid panel to get the jukebox going. And from there, it's going to give us the kyber brick for Maz's Melodies. And guys, that's going to be all the puzzles as well as the location of the data card in Takodana's Maz's Castle. So let me know in the comments below if you had any questions. Quite a bit in this one. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if not. Subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.